Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dragon back with another YouTube video, and today we're gonna be showing you guys how to make the overlays you see on the screen. So let's get straight to it. So what you want to do is go to File and then go to New, and then you want to go to 1280 by 720. Now you want to create a new file and you just want to name it uh, BJ or whatever you want to name. It. I don't know. I said that. Whatever you want to name the file, but you can keep it just like this. So put it in the center, and this is the font right here. So you rasterize the layer and now rasterize type. You hit file and then you hit export as. Now you want to export the file. After you export the file, I'm gonna just name it uh, BJ20. No, I'm just name BJ, bro. This is gonna be tripping. But I'm gonna name it that. Then I'm gonna go to file and then I'm gonna go to new and then new project. See, I gotta start a new project because I was doing some stuff here already. So you want to go to new composition and then you want to hit OK. Now this is After Effects by the way if you don't know. Got to open up After Effects. So you want to import your file, go to file then import like I just did. You want to import this and you want to drag it down. Now you can hit the catalogs that ever pop up. Now you want to click on the layer. Then you want to auto trace. I'm going to show you guys how to do that real quick. Where is it? Auto trace and then hit OK. You want to drag this down. And you want to hit go to render settings, transparent, customize core, layer mask, and put this uh, art reactor. So now that you do this, basically what you want to do is just pick the color. Okay. So now that we did this, you click on end offset, uh, click on the clock first, put this all the way down. Now you come over here and then you bring it all the way up like so. So what it's basically going to do is come out like this right here and you can just loop it. So basically after you do this, you want to hit export, add to Adobe Media and Adobe Media Encode the queue. So we'll just add that and it's up in here now. So like wait for this to load up. All right. So once you get down right there, you should hear a ding sound, but I mean, I ain't hear that, but you should hear it. So you want to close this project. Don't say new composition. Okay. So now you want to go to file, fix this word, file again. And you just want to go pick that file that you basically made. Alright, so I got my file. You just want to drag it down. And now you can go to human saturation. Put this on here. Click uh, U. When you, and just follow what I'm doing. I hit U. Drag this all the way down. And then turn this like so and then now the color will be changing when it's coming down like that and then go back to the same color you started off with and then you want to export it add to Adobe media and code the queue and do the same thing so we just simply go over here I'm gonna call this BJ Goated 12 B2 and it's where just like that All right, so this is basically about to be done and once it's done you can go to obs you, you can just go to the plus symbol and you go media source let's go to media source you want to hit loop browse then we scroll and get this where is it uh, and then you just go pick your file see i don't know if you can see my screen but i'm basically picking my file it's simple so yeah, I got there right there. And you can see it going on right here. And if you need me to pick it again with the actual screen going, I can do that. So media source, boom, boom, boom. And then you just BJ go to it. And just like that, you got your junk. So you can just delete the other one if you really did add to it. But it is simple. And if you want to make it quicker, I can show you guys how to do that also. You just want to click on here, right click, go to your properties, and then you want to up the speed. So you basically just went to your properties and up the speed. So it'll be moving way quicker once you do that. But that's basically how you do it. The next thing I'm going to show you guys how to make going to be social animated overlay. This right here is going to be pretty simple. Also, I'm going to show you guys a clip on the screen.
All right, so now you want to go to file and then go to new and then go to 1280 by 720. Now, this is what you actually use to make the social overlay, but I already have a template for it. I'm going to just show you guys the format, and if you need the template, just let me know. You can DM me about it or whatever. But this is the template right here, so I'm going to show you guys exactly how I would go about doing it. So, as you can see, the names aren't like right, so let me get this right first. If you need this template, just DM me. So you just go to human saturation when you have your socials and then you simply just saturate uh saturate it so i'm gonna turn to the color red for right now and basically you can just merge visible but if you want to get this little part right there like off of the white then i'll show you guys how to do that so what you would literally have to do is go in here and put this on each layer like this so i'm gonna show you guys And then I got to get on to the one. All right, so once you have it on like all of the layers, make sure all of these are in the same spot. Once you do this, you can just click on any one and merge them visible. Once you merge visible, you can go to file, export, export as, and I'm just call this a uh, uh, social example. This one's gonna be pretty easy also. So once you have this, you can just go to Adobe After Effects, go to File, then New, New Project. If you already have one, just go to New Composition, then do this. So once you have this, go to File, then Import, and you go File it again, then you just would pick the social thingy. So you wanna bring this in, and then you wanna make it smaller. Now, if you wanna do it without messing up, click on, let me show you guys, click on this, and then hold Shift, and then just bring it down and try it again. Hold shift and then do it like that. So once you do this, it will be good right there. Or you can just bring it out like to right there. So you want to click on this, hit Control D, then click on this, go layer, auto trace, okay. Then you want to go saber, bring this over, then render settings. You know how this go, transparent. Then you want to go to customize core layer mask. Then put this on Art Reactor. Now you can set the color to red, which is the same color on this. Or if you want to make it look better, you can go on here and pick one of the colors off of these. So like we want to pick the Instagram color, just do like that. So now that you got this, you see that it is like that. So if you want to lower the intensity, you can lower the intensity. If you want to up the core size, you can up the core size. But all of that really up to you. I'm going to keep it just like this though. I'm going to file, then export, add to media encoder. So once it's in media encoder, just click on like this. And then um, I'm going to go name the file BJ Social. Even though that's not social, I'm just name BJ Social 1. And then play the clip. So you hit the play button and just render it. Right, so once it's done rendering, we can just go back to Adobe After Effects. Then you can go to um, new, then you can just hit new project, or you can close the project, it don't matter. Then you can go to new composition, copy the settings on my screen, file, import, file, and then I'm gonna just gonna pick my file like so. I'm gonna get this uh, BJ Socials right here. Import the file, and you just wanna drag it down. Once you drag it down, you can go to hue and saturation. Just click on this and then just click U after clicking that little clock, bring it all the way over here, and then you can turn it like this right here. Basically, turning it like this will make your color change effect happen, so it will look something like this right here. So, you can just go to file, export, add to media encoder, um, click this, and you can go back to where we saved it. And I'm just naming BJ Social 2 and then hit the button to render it. Once you're done rendering and I'm in OBS, you just click the plus symbol, then you can go to media source, okay, loop, browse, then you can go to this and get the socials over here, open, okay, and you can close this out. And now you got the socials, if you want to use them, you just put them 
at the bottom of your screen now if you need any help putting the socials on just let me know this is where i will put them at then you have it just set up like this and yeah man that's how you do socials so let's get into the next thing all right so next thing i'm gonna do is do a face cam overlay and it should be playing on screen right now You just want to go to file new 1280 by 720 like i really been doing you can slow down the video if you need to so i'm gonna go to the rectangle tool over here and we can drag this now if you look at my previous video on how to make a face cam it's literally the same thing but we just gonna animate it and it's not gonna be that advanced uh color really doesn't matter just make sure you add a stroke to it so i'm gonna go to properties add a stroke now i really haven't found a good stroke size for doing this yet but it's just up to you whatever stroke size you want to be. I'm gonna put mine like maybe let me just pick a random one. Uh probably this right here. Just testing out at this point. So after you do this, you hold shift on all the sides, just bring them out. And like I said, it's like the last tutorial I made. But this just gonna be 1280 version. Once you do this, um you can rasterize the layer because it's always gonna be 1280, 720, but it's just gonna be small, but it's still that's still gonna be the size. So now that you have this, go to the one tool and just click in the middle of it, control X. Once you do this, you go file, export, export as, and export again. And once you do it, I'm gonna just name this face cam animate. Like that. So now we got this, we go to back to Adobe, file, new. Um, new project don't say new composition have all of this then do that file import and then file and then we're gonna pick this I will pick this and we drag it down here we can we're gonna make those small too so we're gonna hold this hold shift and simply just make it smaller and I got my keyboard if y'all need help but I just held shift while dragging it down so basically what you want to do I'm gonna show you two ways to make this right now so you want to hit Control J, I mean Control D on this, and this is gonna be the first one to make it. Go Layer, Auto Trace, and then we can go to Saber. I right, drag this down, and then basically put this transparent, customized core, layer mask, art reactor, and then um, you basically know what I'm about to do. And I would just make this red, but I made a mistake and made that purple, so. Really, if I was making this, I'll make this purple also. So it would kind of look some. It well, it wouldn't even kind of look. It would look something like that. And if you just wanted to have an overlay, that's how that would look right there. So yeah. So I'm gonna basically show you guys how to do this. What you want to do next is click this and offset, bring this all the way down, and then you can go all the way over here, and then bring it all the way up. Now you don't have to do it this way, but I think it's pretty cool to animate like this. And then it would reset and redo itself again. So yeah, we can keep it like that for right now. All right, so add this to Adobe Meteor and code the queue. And then click on this and then call this, I'm gonna call this BJ face cam. Uh, BJ face cam one and click play. And let that render out and I'll be back with you guys. Now I'm just done rendering. What we wanna do is go back to After Effects we just want to close this project come as close projects a lot of stuff new composition okay file import file and then basically what we're going to do is go get that file and i'm going to show you guys how to do it now i imported the file you just want to simply go to human saturation over here and then drag it over um set this color range now the first thing i'm going to actually do is Come in so I can see this because I want to try to change this color to red first. So I'm gonna just actually change the regular color like this. I'm gonna add another human saturation below this and hit U on this, then go over here and turn this like this.
So now that we got the starting off and then the color changing like that, just go to file, then export, add to it, Adobe Media, and code the queue. And we go to our drive over here, whatever you put your files on. And I'm gonna get this and turn it to number two. I'm gonna let this render and I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up. All right, so now that it's done, go to OBS, hit the plus symbol, media source, okay, loop, browse, just go where your file is. And then I'm gonna get the BJ face cam two. And you see how that's working. So I'm gonna actually show you all of these working. And I want you guys to tell me which one is the best. So this is the face cam. I know you guys should be able to still hear me. I'm gonna let that get downloaded. And you see that now the next thing we have is the socials right here. So we got the socials, we got the face cam, and we have the BJ animated thing. So this is how you make someone a freaking um animated like screen package. So if you guys enjoyed this, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And just slow the video down if you have to, because I know I try to do it pretty quickly. But if this helped you out, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Peace out.